View the Confluence page status on the content status indicator at the top of a page. This page status is determined automatically, based on a set of rules that you can configure. Some statuses in page owners, however, can be set manually with quick actions. For quick actions, open the three-dot menu and select an option, like Set Expiration. If the expiration date is passed, the status also changes. There is a quick action for editing a page and for confirming a content's relevancy. There is one for setting page owners, for expired, archive, and excluded statuses, with more options to come. On top of manual actions, page statuses can also refresh automatically. The status is determined by the rules you configure for your statuses. Better Content Archiving continuously checks the CQL expressions from top to bottom for each possible status. It stops at the first one that evaluates to true and sets the status to that. This is how your page statuses are refreshed automatically, but remember, page statuses in themselves are not the end goal. They keep your content lifecycle strategy in motion. Automations, like archiving, page deletion or email notifications can rely on them. Let's see how to define Confluence page statuses. Find the Content Status Configuration section in the Settings. Switch to the Content Statuses tab. As you can see, this is more comprehensive than Confluence's own status feature. Here you can have everything you need. If you miss one, add a new, custom status to make it fit your company document management workflow. Go to Content Status Schemes to define your statuses. Content status schemes are a collection of statuses that you can apply to a space or multiple spaces. In it, you can define the order and definition of statuses. Use our handy CQL helper feature to create the right CQL definitions for each status. This order of statuses is checked periodically by Better Content Archiving, the one we looked at earlier. When you are ready, save your content status scheme. If you changed something, don't forget to recalculate the statuses to apply the changes. Click the Refresh Now button to recalculate your statuses. To view the statuses for all your pages in a Confluence space, navigate to the Content Status Overview page. Make sure to watch the explainer video on that, as well as the tutorial on sending advanced notification emails to content owners. Watch the next tutorial video or start a free trial of better content archiving for Confluence now.